Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this pre-recorded edition of Good Morning God for this Friday, June 2nd. So glad that you uh, you popped in to uh, start your day off right. And let's start our time with song. Jesus, name above all names, beautiful Savior, glorious Lord, Emmanuel. God is with us, blessed Redeemer, living Word. Today we pick up where we left off yesterday with a little overlap from 2 Timothy chapter 1, verses 12 through 14. That is why I am suffering as I am, yet that this is no cause for shame, because I know whom I have believed and am convinced that he is able to guard what I have entrusted to him until that day. What you heard from me, keep as the pattern of sound teaching, with faith and love in Christ Jesus. Guard the good deposit that was entrusted to you. Guard it with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives in us. So what do we have here? We have confirmation yet again that when we enter into relationship with Jesus Christ and accept him as our Lord and Savior, we get the added benefit of the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives that will help us, right? It helps us, the Holy Spirit helps us in all kinds of ways. But we are also um, exhorted to keep the teaching that has been taught to us, right? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. And, and throughout the New Testament, we are told how to behave as the church. The things we should flee from and the things that we should cling to. And just because society and culture changes over the centuries, the teaching of God and the apostles' teaching of how to be a Christian, how to be a church, doesn't change. Doesn't change. We are to lead, lead moral, upright lives, loving one another, and holding fast to the gospel and teaching that we have been taught, that has been taught since the earliest days of the church. So, if, if the Bible says one thing, and we disagree with it, it's us who is wrong. Um, keep that in mind as you pray today, as you go about your day, as you read scripture. Let's pray. Good morning, God. We thank you for this day. We thank you for your word. Lord God, help us to, to stay in your word. Holy Spirit, help us to interpret and understand your word and help us to live lives that are holy and pleasing to you, God Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. We ask all this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. And now, beloved, go with God, and God will certainly go with you, and have a blessed day.